Today, a new art display in the Lufrano Gallery. And both basketball teams win their home games. Stay tuned because Spinnaker News starts right now. Good morning, Ospreys. I'm Elizabeth Norton. And I'm Alex Lassen, and you're watching Spinnaker News. So, did you enjoy your day off yesterday due to Martin Luther King Day? I didn't get a day off. I had to go to work. I haven't had a day off since Christmas. Oh, no. I've just been out here grinding. Oh, no. Well, I actually got to go to the beach and I hung out around with my family. It was a pretty nice day. It must have been nice. <laughs> it was nice. It was nice. All right, Ospreys. Well, many of you may have been enjoying your day off due to Martin Luther King Day, but many gathered here at UNF last Friday to honor Dr. King's memory. The Intercultural Center for Peace hosted the event and featured guest speakers who spoke about the importance in education and the prevention of reading failure. Fifth grade safety patrols from a local elementary school concluded the event by sharing their dreams for themselves and for the world. Some beautiful pieces of artwork were recently welcomed into the Lufrano Intercultural Gallery earlier last week. A River Speaks, the name of the exhibition, lives up to the Lufrano Gallery's theme of human condition and natural entities. The artwork features paintings of different bodies of water across the region by different artists. Jim Draper, an artist of A River Speaks and also a professor at UNF, said the purpose of this exhibition was for artists to be able to give a voice to these majestic bodies of water. For Draper, the erosion, pollution, and overuse of the river's resources was a trigger to create and combine these works. The pieces will be displayed till March 11th, and prices for the artwork range from $150 to $24,000. All right, Ospreys, we're going to swoop over to your Spinnaker Sports. Good morning, Ospreys. I'm Alex Lassen with your Spinnaker Sports Report. The UNF men's basketball team terminated Kennesaw State with a 93-78 score, but a great effort was made on both sides of the court. Kennesaw State took control early on with a fire offense, leading 45-31 with five minutes left in the first half. But the spotlight shined on Bo Beach as he had an 11-point run with a layup, while Dallas Moore scored nine consecutive points. At halftime, Ospreys closed Kennesaw's lead to 47-42. But an eight-point spurt in the second half gave the Ospreys their first lead, and things only went up from there. Bo Beach scored a career high of 33 points with a thrilling three-pointer to beat the shot clock in the final seconds. Nice job, Ospreys. But the hustle continues as the guys have two road conference games this week, Thursday's match against USC Upstate and Saturday's match against NJIT. Best of luck, guys. Moving on, the women's basketball team showed some signs of life with a 78-70 victory over conference rival Lipscomb. With the rarity of four players scoring double figures, this match was certainly a team effort, much unlike the games we're used to seeing where Sierra Shepard and Claire Ioannidis tallied the lion's share of points. But don't let that score fool you, as the teams were neck and neck all game until UNF went on a six-point run with three and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter. Where do the Ospreys go from here? A road trip. The women will face a Sun newcomer NJIT on Saturday and USC Upstate on Monday. Best wishes, ladies. Well, that's it for sports. Liz, back to you. I'm so happy that both of our basketball teams are winning and that all of the Ospreys can really like, cheer them on, you know? I know. It's really exciting. They've been just putting in work lately, and all we can do is hope that they make it to March Madness. And I know the women's team has like struggled. They got new coaching. They only had a couple returners. They got in a lot of new girls, so I know. You know, it's something to look out for. Exactly. I think they're going to stay on the positive, kind of what Driscoll did with the men's team. So yeah, exactly. Best of luck. Another thing to look out for is there's going to be a freezing uh, warning tonight, so you guys better bundle up and wear a lot of coats. <laughs> Turn on that heater. <laughs> All right, Ospreys, you can check us out at unfspinnaker.com. Or you can like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash unfspinnaker. And if you're on Twitter or Instagram, go ahead and give us a follow at unfspinnaker. Be sure to stay tuned for your three-day forecast and buy a jacket. Have a great day, UNF. <laughs>